congratulations on your sequel, I'm brother. I'm only doing that. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. I'm only doing this because, you know. We're we not going to tell anybody. We got a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you. So, listen, you. first of all, I have to congratulate you right. on the success of Shang-Chi. We haven't talked since the movie came out. Oh congratulations. Thank you. Dude. Have we really not? No, no. Oh, my God. We, we've been busy. You've been, you've been all over the world, dude. It's been a crazy few months. It's been a crazy few months. Okay. Well, we just found out sequels on the way. Destin's directing. When did you find that out? What was your first reaction? I guess I wasn't the most surprised, <laughs> given everything that had happened. Um, but I'm, I'm no, I'm, I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved to hear that that he was, you know, uh, confirmed to come back. I mean, again, not a surprise, but it's just so good to feel the engine turning again and to be like, okay, great, great. We get to tell more story and and you know delve deeper into the characters and. Uh, and hopefully provide more of those uh, badass fight sequences. What, what, what advice you want to give Destin as he's also doing a Disney Plus show? Not that he needs any, I don't think, but... but. What advice? Oh my God. Uh, cast a better actor than me. I don't know if they can do that. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Me? I was Spider-Man for kids' birthday parties, thank you very much. Right. And I feel like I'm an underappreciated Spider-Man, you know? I didn't do it for this. I didn't do it for this. I did it for the smile on the children's faces. For the love of the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, okay, last, last thing. Prediction for tonight. What do you want? I don't know if you know anything. I don't know if they keep these secrets from you. Thank what you. do you want to see in Spider-Man No Way Home? Um, I want to... <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, I, I will be, with the amount that Mr. Andrew Garfield has been denying, I just, I want to see him. I just want to see him in the movie and be like, yeah, of course. You know that's your future now. You think so? You're going to be asked about Shang-Chi for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I like to think that I would do a better job of denying it. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think I think I think it's just been great. It's been a great press journey leading up to this moment. As as a fan, I am like my heart is beating. I can't wait to get in there and watch it. Yes, it's going to be great. Welcome to uh, Spider-Man: No Way Home. Yes. You, you guys cast Tom Holland. Uh, we did, yeah. So what is it like now to see the 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 snowball that has become Spider-Man in the MCU after you guys just scratched the tip of the iceberg for him? I mean, well, I absolutely love it. I mean, the reason that we cast him is he was a really dynamic, charismatic actor. He had the S. He captured the essence of Peter Parker for us, that youthful, funny, sarcastic, charming, vulnerable uh, version of, of Peter Parker that I knew growing up and reading the comics. So um, I, I said this not too long ago, but I really feel like he's taken over the mantle as sort of the soul of the Marvel Universe, the emotional core of it. The audiences have been through a lot with his character. Uh, they, I think they feel very emotionally connected to his character. And here we are in a gigantic, climactic uh, uh, movie for uh, for for the home series. When you guys were doing Infinity War and Endgame and bringing in like multiverse kind of stories and stuff to that for the to the MCU for the first time, did you know like back then that Far From Home and No Way Home would lead to like a multiverse story? Because we know there's villains from other franchises, but were those conversations already happening back then? I mean, it's uh, the great thing about the the you know the Marvel experiment is that it's constantly evolving, right? And artists are feeding off of ideas. Kevin is incredible at sort of encouraging people and you know, allowing them to play. Uh, and, and so I think artists are inspiring each other, you know, and you're handing the ball off to the next person who then takes it. I, you know, I have no idea what happens to this movie. I'm here as a fan, just like everyone else, you know, so here, here to be surprised and excited. Is it rare? Do you prefer it that way? I do. Yeah, it's like, to, it's nice to be back to being a fan and, you know, get to go to a midnight screening with my kids and, yeah. and be as surprised as everyone else. How's, uh, how's the gray man going? It's coming along great. Uh, you know, we're uh, in the editorial process right now. Deliver the movie uh, in the spring. I think we'll have a summer release for that. And uh, are you guys ready for Secret Wars yet or what? Uh, you know, one of these days, we'll have to see how this all shakes out. I don't know what they're going to do with all these characters. The word is you guys are, you guys are talking again. Is that true? Uh, uh, you know, I got to ask. What can I say? <laughs> um, uh, look, you know, we love those guys. Uh, um, and, you know, I can't say one way or the other, but... I'd work with them uh, in a heartbeat. It's the best working experience of our careers. They're like family to us, you know, and we love this material, so, and we love the fans. Big fan of your work. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? Do we have to ask? <laughs> you, you guys made one, so I appreciate it. Hey, great to see you, Joe. Yeah, see you, you soon. Biggest movie of the year, for, for, and you guys are laying claim to it. How does it feel to finally feels share this great. with the world? Feels great to be back. You know, feels like this is what it should be, and, you know, big movies for the big screen. How does it feel to have like the biggest movie that's actually is it is it nerve wracking to have a movie this big going to theaters right now or is it like we you know this is what we want to do? It was pretty yes, it's nerve wracking. I'm a little less nervous after I saw the pre sales this morning, <laughs> and they're pretty good. Um, 
But sure it is, but that's the fun. You know, that that's the fun. I think when you probably when you're not nervous, it's probably time to hang it up. I hear you, I hear you. Well, well uh, listen, we, we have some characters who we thought hung it up that are back, some actors oh, who are back good. in this film. We very know this good. is a multiverse story, uh, with the villains at least we know are here. Yep. I would love to hear from you behind the scenes, when you guys at Sony and Marvel were talking, yep. when did this kind of story start to become a play? Because I remember Far From Home, really people started like having theories and conversations. When did you guys start talking about bringing people back from yeah, previous that's franchises? Really a, uh, that's really a credit to came to Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal and John Watts, who are really the, the together the creative engine uh, behind the movie. Um, and very early on, I guess two and a half years ago, or maybe even three, they came in my office and and sort of pitched a big idea. And I thought, wow, that's ambitious. I mean, we could try, you know, we could give it the old college try. That could be pretty tough. But boy, if they said, well, what if we could pull it off? I said, well, you pull it off. It would be, I think the technical word is fucking cool. So let's try. Yeah, well, here we are. And it here seems like are. it may have worked out. Uh, and and, and uh, I'd love to hear about Spider-Verse, man. The trailer for that just dropped. That was cool. How are you guys feeling about that? I feel like there's a lot of surprises. How much do we not know about Spider-Verse yet? You, you, you pretty much don't know anything about Spider-Verse, except if you did notice on the trailer, or it wasn't a trailer, it was a, a teaser at best, right? Uh, but you probably noticed it did say part one. So, you know, I can confirm that, as happens mostly in life, uh, part two follows a part one. That's right. That's right. Well, we're very excited for part one and yeah. two. And my last thing for you, uh, the back in 2019, the news has been that Marvel and Sony are doing Spider-Man No Way Home, which didn't have a title at the time, and then one more movie together. And who knows what the future holds. I'd love to hear if that conversation has gone anywhere. Have you guys made any more plans together? No, no, no specific plans, but I think you actually expressed it accurately. We, we, it's reciprocal. So we lend one and they lend one and that's how Benedict is in this movie. And so we have one more lend back, right? That's, that's committed. But the thing that I can say, and this is actually the accurate scoop on this, which is that the two companies have a terrific working relationship, right? Uh, and I think it's a mutual hope that that would continue. But there really isn't anything definitive at this moment because the truth of the matter is, we got to ride this puppy and see what happens. Right, well, I'm ready to see it myself. Thank well, you so much for the time. Man. Thank you, sir. Take care. I, I, I hate to start off on this foot, but we do have a bone to pick. No, what? We, we talked over the phone, and you told me once upon a time you were only in one episode of The Mandalorian. A week later, I saw you. I was happy to see you, but I was like, she, she pulled one over on me. Again, what's your name again? It is, it is Brandon. Oh, Brandon, so why am I going to tell you my business, Brandon, if I barely know your name? That's fine. I'm going to tell you all the secrets. That's why you have to keep it in the book of secrets. So... I set myself up there and you... you, you like you, your pens. They look cool. We match. We match. We kind of match. Kind of. So A little bit. So who's your favorite Spider-Man? Oh, you're gonna make me choose. You can say them all and just kind of tell me why. Um, honestly, I just have to say Tobey Maguire. The OG. That, the OG. That's the really one I really, really know. That's fair. That's yeah. Fair. And and now that you're part of this family, do you are you able to avoid the spoilers for movies like this? Do you get to go in and be surprised? Yes, I know nothing. They keep it top secret. I don't know even anything about Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I don't know anything. Now that you can talk about Star Wars, though, what you did, what we already saw in that in that Mandalorian finale, did you know that it was Luke and that Baby Yoda was going with them? Like, I know that they kind of lied to some people on set. <laughs> they lied to a lot of people. I got to watch with the rest of the fans, and I got to cry. I was like, "Whoa, is this real?" Because every Mandalorian episode came out on Friday, and I work on Friday, so I just got to watch it real quick and then go to SmackDown. So I couldn't even comprehend. I just got to take it in that I was on the episode of freaking Luke Skywalker. Um, and then just go to Friday Night Smackdown and see hi to Vince McMahon. So it, it was crazy. I, just, I was filled with tears. I was like, this is um, once in a lifetime opportunity. Amazing. Some of us would call that living the dream. 
absolutely every single day. I love it. And so, and the last thing, listen, I, I saw the uh, the exchange of the titles on SmackDown. Everything going on in the women's divisions. What do you think of all this? What's going on there? What's going on? The boss is ruling the women's division. That's going gone. I'm I'm the leader. I'm the blueprint. I'm the boss. That and that's it. I came prepared, you know. Oh, no. If you're ever gonna wear these, it's tonight. It's tonight. This is you were a young kid who likes really into this stuff. Oh, I, I was. Uh, I think Not like eight job. or nine years old when Toby was Spider-Man, and now here we are. That's so sweet. Well, 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 Paula, welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thank you. Uh, it's that's your pleasure. Y'all look crazy, y'all cinematic, y'all comic pe book people, truly. We are passionate fans, so I want to, I want to hear about that. When you join a movie like this, yeah. it's different than anything else. It is. What, what is kind of like, do you I start asking questions? I think, uh, well, there's Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange himself. Uh, when you join the Marvel Cinematic Universe, what, like, what is the onboarding process like? How is it different than anything else you've done before? This, first of all. <laughs> This. this doesn't happen everywhere. And you know what? What's also different about it is you don't know who's like a major comic book, major Marvel freak. I have like 50-year-old cousins who are like, yeah, yeah, I, well, I heard you got Spider-Man. Look at Brother Lavin, right? I heard you, like, you got Spider-Man. You know I'm really interested in Spider-Man. Like, and I'm like, Uncle Ed, how you gonna be a Spider-Man freak? You 92. I mean, so many things. Um, well, all of a sudden, people remember your phone number again. The family members who you don't hear from. It's fun. <laughs> but it's but it's and what's neat about it is that it travels like it's like you never know. Mm -hmm. It's from like my sister to my cousin. To, it's like a very wide group of people. I, I saw the first 40 minutes. I don't want to get into anything too spoilery, yeah. but I know you have a scene with Tom Holland, and I want to like when you show up to that set. Do they tell you about the other characters? who are also in that scene or are you just yes. right there in that? Tell me about no, that. No, no, no. You do, do find out and I will tell you they did not give me my script until I got there. So you couldn't even really prepare. I could not prepare. <laughs> I could not prepare. They did not give me the script and even so there was a lot of stuff blocked out. And then they finally gave me a lot of the stuff that was like visual stuff that I did, right? So then they go, they have this thing a previd. It's a previd and that's something that they sh they have an idea they sculpt it out what they're going to do visually. And I got that and then they did that like self destruct self destructs and self destructs in a week. And it's top secret. That's amazing. That's so cool. And so I know listen, I know your your role in Peter's life. I just want to say give give the kid a break. All right. If he deserves a break, he will get a break. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome Thank to the Marvel you. family. We're happy to have you. Thank you. I'm your warm-up for Garfield and, uh, and uh, Maguire, right? Do you think they're in the movie? Yes. <laughs> I, do, do you think Miles Morales is in the movie? I don't think Miles is in the movie. Do you think we're going to get Spider-Ham? Do you think we're going to get CGC? Come on. I've gone crazy. Like, also, I think you guys, comic book, I think you guys put up, or somebody like, what, if fans expect in this movie and there's like Godzilla, King Kong, like Optimus Prime, I'm like, bring them all, crash the franchise. Come on, Disney, write those checks. Bring everybody to Spider-Man No Way Home. Is it No Way Home? It's, it's No Way Home. No Way Home. No so, Way Homie. Okay. Dude, uh, just interesting enough, just before you pass, I talked yeah. to Andy Park. He told me, you're the man who hired him. I did. I, okay, let me tell you something. Andy Park, his samples were off the chain. When I, I was at Extreme Studios, that was my studio, I had about 60 guys. You know, people would send us their stuff all the time. I had some amazing talent come through our doors. Um, Andy literally landed on my, I'm like, have we hired this guy? And he's like, do you want to hire him? I'm like, no. We gave him a full assignment out the door. He was so polished, so great. And uh, no, it's just, I always tell Andy, I just love what's how he's become this giant, you know, uh, visual, uh, his impact on the MCU is, is, is ridiculous, right? I mean, it's insane. He is so accomplished. I'm so, I'm just so happy for him. And uh, I want to. I want to know where. Well, actually, I want to talk. Kyle. First boss. I was his first boss. I wrote him his first. Check. He's he's in charge of visual development at Marvel Studios. I know. Did you ever think they'd get to a point where they could do stuff like they've been doing? Like, because you couldn't. Like, Marvel started with Iron Man, which was yeah. grounded. It's a human in a suit of armor, and then they have a tree and a raccoon. Now they have Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Electro, Doctor Strange, with with cities warping and stuff. Like, how hard is it to earn this? Because is it is that like a similar process in comics? Like, you have to kind of earn the audience's trust okay. to introduce bizarre concepts. Two things. Andy is going to go far every time because he's so talented. I'm sure the minute they hired him, they were like, what the? This guy can do what? Now, here's the deal. I have seen Andy 
at the comic store in Tustin, California, where we both go. And he's with his he's with his wife and his kid, and they're getting comics. And what I really and this is in the last two years, I've like been like, will they miss him if I headlock him and drag him outside and say, show me those Deadpool pics? I know you're drawing Deadpool inside the MCU. I know it. Show them to me. But but I respect him, and he knows. He's like, you can ask him. Rob does not ask. I know that line. I'm like, I respect, but inside, I'm like, I need to. <laughs> Tell me about Deadpool right now. I'll noogie you to death. Because I know there's Deadpool drawings in those offices, man. You But they're behind all those doors that close behind Get Smart. <laughs> So I know Andy's so damn talented. He's so ridiculously talented. Um, I'm so kind that he even remembers my name. No, Andy's a great guy. He's so, great but guy. speaking of Deadpool, it, it, the suit, Ryan, everything yeah. about the first two yeah. Deadpool movies are so your character. Of course. Is there like now that the MCU or at Marvel Studios are somehow going to bring yeah. him in or do their have their stamp on him? Whether it's Domino, Cable, Deadpool, yeah. Ryan, the, the attitude, the visuals, anything you would uh, you want to change, you want to see happen, or you think might be happening? Well, do, uh, it's not broke. Don't fix it. Two R-rated dirty movies. My, my daughter just said, Dad, I just saw Deadpool 1. I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah, you were 12 when the first one came out. And I'm like, uh, that's kind of a... She, she saw it with her friends. I'm like, yeah, it's, did, did your friends get turned on? Your boyfriends are by Morena Bacharin? You know, because she turns on, she turns everybody on. Because you don't get that in the MCU. You don't get that R-rated flavor, right? Brandon. Deadpool is a billion dollars waiting to happen. It's it's a break, in, break glass in case of emergency, right? I guess if they want to pay off all of that Fox debt, they just they just they just they just make that Deadpool movie, right? I he, mean, Free Guy, Ryan right? made Free Guy a huge success too. Exactly, but Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. Deadpool, Deadpool fans, go ask the fans out there what they want. Okay, I passed them on the way in. They all are telling me about Deadpool, dude. I, like Feige. Iger, whoever's controlling the, 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 like, do you not love a billion dollars? Do you not love two billion dollars? Deadpool walking through the, he could walk through the movie and just go, hey, what up, Hulk? Hey, Ant-Man. And people would be like, I'll see that 10 times. You know it. I know it. Your mom knows it. My mom knows it. And she's freaking old. <laughs> My mom knows it. I'm going to let you go. My last right. thing I want to know is uh, your comic stuff, man. Your yeah. comics are blowing up. You got some hey. movie stuff on the way. Uh, Profit. Can we get an update to there soon? Man, we need Jake Gyllenhaal to walk this carpet tonight and, and, and so I can go hug him because, yeah, he's going to be profit. I mean, you know, you, 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 you get your training wheels as Mysterio and then you kick some ass as John Prophet with, with Sam Hargrave. Okay, every day Sam, extraction is, and Sam, Sam told us that Extraction, he's like, this is my Hoth. Like, he's the, the, this is my Hoth action film. And you keep seeing all those snow pics. I'm like, he wasn't kidding. He said, that's my Hoth action film. Like, there's a lot of Hoth in that film already because Hemsworth's got snow on him every day. But no, no, so so Prophet is, uh, those image characters are queued up. The people love them. They're going to get them. Brandon, they're going to get them. And it's going to reset. I, I really believe because fandom loves what fandom loves. And if you just give it to them, and again, look look what they're giving them. You're, you're giving people a very fan-oriented story tonight. But uh, look, man. I'm working my ass off. I'm 54. I, I, I have never worked harder. I'm so excited about comic books. I really figured that I am, I'm kind of a minister of comic books. That's, I've accepted that now. Somebody told me that in Chicago. It's the torch. It's the torch. It and it's yours now. I, I, I'm preaching it, man. I, I love my comics, and I love, but I love my movies. So have a great night, Brandon. You too. Great to see you, brother. Always Bring good to see you. In. Wait a second. Wait a second. These are awesome. <laughs> Where'd you get these? My friend Charlie got them for me. Oh, my gosh. Those. That's my Spider-Man. I ran home every day. Class got out at three. It took me 35 minutes. I'd miss the first five minutes of the um, of the old 60s Spider-Man. Yeah. Would come on after school on UHF, dude. It was barely like I had to fix those antennas. Brandon TVs in my age because I'm old had antennas, rabbit ears. Okay, all right, dude. Robbie, Good to see you, brother. How, do, how does it feel on the eve of its of its release? People seeing it. Pretty fun, <laughs> right? It's a great night. I'm really happy. Have you seen the movie yet? That's a funny question. So what was your reaction after the first time you got to lay your eyes on it? Pretty good. How hard was it to try to reach out to some actors who thought they were hanging up the suit or the villain cape or something well, for a while? People love the characters they played and they love what they do. They're happy. We love it. Uh, I, I want to talk to you about Spider-Verse. That teaser was so Isn't good. fabulous? It's a part one. Talk to me about the decision to break Spider-Verse into Across the Spider-Verse, part well, one and part two. Story. We have a lot of story to tell. I love that. I love that. And, and my last thing for you, Spider-Man No Way Home. Fans at home have seen trailers. They've seen a couple clips. I feel like there's a lot left in store. What, what do you have to say about the surprises that they haven't seen yet? Come see the movie.
That's what I have to say. Oh Thank you so much. Welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I what? cannot believe it. I, 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 oh, madness out here. Everybody walks by, everybody goes What's crazy. What's going on? <laughs> I want to hear, you know, when you join a franchise like this, when it's just under the, under the, the spotlight, just like this is, What's, what is the biggest difference, like in the experience when you get cast to getting to set until tonight? What is that like? You know, to be blunt with you, being on set and shooting for the amount of time that I did on this show, what was amazing to me, and this is a credit to John and all the producers, is that uh, how much John Watts was constantly adjusting and making up and improvising on the day. Um, I think that was a real kind of surreal thing that I did not expect, especially being in a Marvel universe like this. But um, that, so that made it actually really easy for me, especially coming over from Succession. So that's cool. So uh, I don't know if you know this, but your scene in the trailer, everybody d analyzed that and said that's Daredevil with them. That's Dare. Are you like aware of those theories? Do you kind of enjoy that discourse? To be honest with you, you can't not be aware of it because every, everybody is, my nephews are texting me, you know, Twitter is ablaze. It's like, what is freaking going on here? Uh, so you kind of, yeah, so I did read all that. Uh, and then you're like, and you know that it's, you know what the truth is and you can't say anything. I can't deny it, but I can't say it's true, you know? And also I was doing Succession at the time and perhaps for Succession, oh, yeah. so they'd be like, and tell us about Spider-Man. It's like, what is there to say? I mean, I, you must not be sleeping at all because congrats on all the success of Succession, no thank pun you. intended. That show's on fire right now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's the genius of Jesse Armstrong. An honor to be playing Stewie Husseini on that show. I love, love, love being on that show. I love it. And uh, the last thing for you, who's your favorite Spider-Man? Is this just between you and me? My, I won't push. I won't push. Thank you, man. Good to see you. You got a Chris Evans look going on. You look like Captain America. <laughs> yeah, in yeah. uh, an Infinity War, maybe I guess. Uh, yeah, there you go. But uh, you're like Yellowstone, Captain America. Yeah, yeah. big Yellowstone fan, by the way. Uh, so, no, it's nice to be out here. Super cool to be at uh, the Spider-Man premiere, and looking forward to getting in there. Dude, I saw you tweeted. Uh, that's how you got yourself invited. You sent a tweet, said you wanted to come, and then uh, tell me about that. Yeah, so I sent that tweet out, and uh, so I, the NASCAR family is pretty close to you know like Sony and Disney and stuff like that. And I, I've been, I went to the Infinity War premiere and you know some Star Wars premieres, and it's a little bit different deal. But I was hoping I'd be able to get in. I think the tweet helped it because I think a lot of people were like, "Let him go, let him go." Uh, so that was that was super cool. It's funny how the internet works sometimes, and for the better in this circumstance. Yeah, there you go. So I, I'm gonna put you on the spot like I'm doing for a lot of people tonight. Favorite Spider-Man, where a lot of people have expectations tonight. If we see them all, who's your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of people grew up on Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, right? I mean, that's what everyone loved. They loved the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. I mean, that's that's what it was. And um, so I would, if I'm hoping Tobey's in the movie. Uh, we'll see, but if Tobey or Andrew Garfield's in it, but. I, Toby's probably my favorite. I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. He does a great job, but Toby's like OG Spider-Man for me, and will always be. They're all so different, but so good for all their own reasons. Yeah, yeah. Do you, I know you're a big Marvel fan. Do you remember what got you into it? So what, what kind of got me into the comic book scene in general is I saw The Phantom Menace in 1999 in theaters when I was like seven years old, and I didn't know anything about Star Wars. My family wasn't involved in it, and I saw it, you know, at that age, your mind's like accepting a lot of things. And you're kind of liking what you like. And from that moment on, it was like comic books, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, like, here we go. So it just that movie hooked me on, on all things kind of fiction and um, this stuff in particular. Now, now, forgive me if this is because is there like a NASCAR like locker room, like like a, a space where everybody could, like, because my question is, who's kind of the biggest geek in the NASCAR locker room? I don't know what the proper word is, though. Yeah. In the garage. The, the, gr the, gr yeah, the garage. Who's the bit? Next time. Yeah, the garage. Next time. So who in the garage there? When you show up to the races and you guys are all there in the pit, who's uh, who? Or is it you? Who's the biggest geek in town? I think it's me. Yeah. I really think it's it's me with the biggest fan of, you know, comics, Marvel, DC, Star Wars movies. Like, I think it's me. But do you guys ever find yourselves kind of sharing theories or anything? Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. I, I try not to share theories because. I feel like 95% of the time you're wrong, and then you're like, oh, I didn't guess it right. So oh, I know that. I don't even, I don't watch the 
you know, the trailer breakdowns anymore. I don't do any of that. I just watch the trailers, go see the movie. I can't deal with all the other stuff. So. All right, well, if you do watch trailer breakdowns, be sure to watch comicbook.com, of course. They're always, always right. Will do. Uh, but, but I heard you got a race coming up at the Coliseum, and that's pretty exciting. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, we, uh, we, we run at the Coliseum February 6th, which is kind of hard to believe because um, there's no tractor right now. I think they're, they're starting, like, next week. So uh, it'll be fun. You know, we, we run in Fontana. We run in Sonoma, but we don't race in L.A., you know, so that's super cool, you know, to run where they had the Olympics. That's that's awesome. So it'll be a unique race. Um, I'm excited for it, and hopefully uh, everyone here is excited for it, too. Hopefully you don't hit any L.A. traffic out there, you know. <laughs> we'll find out.